What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Howl's Moving Castle. <coughs> I mean, uh, here's my review of Bioshock Infinite. Oh, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, what I meant to say is here's my review of Mortal Engines. <laughs> Let's rock this. I'm not going to lie to you. The beginning parts of this film, the first few scenes or the first few minutes are pretty epic. Seeing that massive city of London moving on giant wheels, chasing down a lesser city and swallowing it up. Unfortunately, the movie's quality sort of goes downhill from there and it doesn't recover. It's the same exact disdain or contempt that I have for Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald in that this movie, Mortal Engines, just could not get me to care about the story or any of the characters, and it's just an endless cycle of one overwhelming visual effect set piece after another. Based on author Philip Reeves' first installment of his young adult novel series, Mortal Engines is set hundreds of years after civilization was destroyed by a cataclysmic event which leaves the world ruled by giant mobile predator cities. A mysterious woman named Hester Shaw is hell-bent on stopping London from devouring everything in its path. She has a connection to the villain of the story bound by a painful past regarding her mother. Hester joins forces with an outcast geek named Tom Natsworthy and a dangerous outlaw named Anna Fang in this fantasy action adventure that's scripted and produced by the great Peter Jackson along with Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens. On paper, this seems like an epic team-up. I mean, you have Lord of the Rings creative talents reuniting with the digital wizards at that world-famous Weta that made that Tolkien franchise both LOTR and Hobbit, a huge commercial success. And helming on the steering wheel is first-time feature director Christian Rivers, who previously was a storyboard and visual effects supervisor for Peter Jackson. So you would think that some of Peter's skills or mastery would rub off on Christian. And to a certain extent, it does. Mortal Engines is a grandioso, dystopian CG spectacle. But substance-wise, there's not much meat on that bone. There's a bit of a revenge plot going on there, accompanied by some kind of rebellious against the authority. So there's nothing really new or refreshing about that. We've seen that same song and dance number a million times before. And then there's this giant creature who starts out hunting down the protagonist, but later on we learn that he's not such a bad guy after all because I thought at the very least that that could be a decent part of this film. You know, a relentless sadistic killer. But nope, he is anything but that, which is a total buzzkill if you ask me. Now, I like actor Robert Sheehan. I've interviewed him before in the past. You can check out my entire interview with Robert Sheehan through the link in the description box below this video. So I think he is a wonderful actor, but his talent has been wasted in such movies as Geostorm, Bad Samaritan, and now this. I don't know how the character Tom Natsworthy is described in Philip Reeves' books, but the Tom Natsworthy I see on the big screen is clueless, clumsy, and does not have likable qualities to him. And it's just sad to see Robert Sheehan confined within those margins. The same goes with his co-stars as well, Hera Hilmar and Jihei. The story does not give enough for me to want to follow them to the ends of the earth. I'm a huge fan of Hugo Weaving, whom, as you know, has played some of cinema's most iconic villains in the past. But unfortunately, in Mortal Engines, Hugo is reduced to this unimpressive, one-note character who at the end finds himself in this poorly staged sequence that kind of reminds you of how terrible sci-fi nerd movies were done in the 90s. Unintentionally laughable. On top of that, whatever themes or whatever metaphor that this movie is trying to address cannot sustain itself and it runs out of fuel before it gets covered up again by yet another CG spectacle. Overall, Mortal Engines appeals only on the surface. You can't get more than just that because this movie is not able to dig deeper. 
So that's it. That's my review of Mortal Engines. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTube verse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Rama Screen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this.